I'm Xerxes, developer advocate here at Google, back with the next installment in our AdWords API series. Let's take a closer look at the anatomy of an API call by digging into the code samples, which can make your life a lot easier. Jump into Eclipse and open up the Java file we used back in episode two, getcampaigns.java. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please go back and watch the earlier videos in this playlist. In getcampaigns.java, you'll notice some boilerplate code in main that does the following. Credential generation, AdWords session creation, and AdWords services instantiation. You'll become familiar with these as you explore the client libraries. There's one other line you may also need. Recall that we set our client customer ID in the ads.properties file. What if you have many client customer accounts under your MTC account? In that case, you can remove it from the ads.properties file and programmatically set it via the AdWords session object. After the object is built, call set client customer ID to dynamically set it. I'll take this opportunity to tell you probably the most important thing to know about the AdWords API. The code samples are your friends. They provide bite-sized examples of the most popular API functionality. They are the absolute best place to start when building your own application. For example, they cover account management, campaign management, error handling, optimization, reporting, targeting, and more. The two main buckets of the API's functionality are reporting and automation. Let's dive into reporting now. So we start with our best friends, the code samples. Go to Eclipse and open download criteria report.java. You'll notice the boilerplate code mentioned earlier in main. The run example method has the interesting code in this class. Here, we create an object hierarchy defining the report we want, then we pass it to an instance of report downloader. Go ahead and run download criteria report.java. The Eclipse console will print the location of the downloaded file. You'll notice that the sample code specifies a report type, in this case, criteria performance report, and some fields. What other report types are available and what fields do they contain? Here is a complete reference document. You can use this sample code along with that document to download whatever reports you need. In addition to defining reports with an object hierarchy like this, you could also use AWQL, or AdWords Query Language. This is a SQL-like language that allows you to build reports in a less verbose way than through objects. Compare the sample code we just ran with download criteria report with awql.java. They retrieve the same report, but the AWQL is more concise. The report types and fields are the same for either approach. So now that you understand the fundamentals of reporting, you're equipped to build your own custom reporting platform. We've come a long way in these videos. And in the next video, we'll look at how to make updates to the API and thus enable some interesting automation. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in future episodes.